Hi everyone, this is David. Um, today I'm just going to do a short tutorial for you on gate nub sanding. I'm getting rid of the little nubs that come with um, the runner gates on a kit. Um, now these are just some extra pieces I've got laying around from, um, I believe this is the um, 1144 Sengoku Astray, um, but this is the extra shoulder pieces from the red frame, uh, so I can kind of fuck with them a little bit. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to play this a little um, fast and loose here. I'm going to be rough with the pieces. That way we can actually get a good effect there. I don't know if you can see right there, but I've got a nice heavy gate nub there. Um, this is actually going to take two, potentially three tools. Uh, I'm just going to use standard nippers, green handle, classic. Uh, I'm going to use an emery board. Um, some people like to use uh, really uh, high grit sandpaper. I don't particularly like doing that. It's complicated and the emery board's nice because I can control it. It's got a hard end. It's got a soft end. Um, I mostly use the soft end, but whenever I'm doing gate nubs, the hard end's pretty good too. Um, also, sometimes you will need um, plastic cement. Um, the Mr. Hobby cement is really easy, accessible, and cheap. Um, but if you're in the United States, um, you can just as easily use the testers brand cement um, but definitely don't use the gummy stuff use this stuff it comes with a little brush just a lot better for control um, and you don't get globs okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna assess this and actually I'm gonna go um, a step above and beyond on this one I'm gonna do a little bit more just to show um, how it can be done taking my hobby knife I'm going to give this a nice deep cut here, a little V cut, a little damage to the kit. Okay, there, it's it's nice and weathered. Um, this is a simple effect if you want to do nicks for a sword um, or something like that. Um, super, super basic, but I'm going to fix those because uh, it's not that diff different than a gate nub. So first thing you want to do with a gate nub is you want to cut it off. Take your nippers, get real close, and you got most of it right there. Um, a lot of times that's that's even it. If you're not too concerned about like fine, fine details, you can just do the whole thing with your nippers. I mean, just get in close right there. Um, if you've got a good curve on the piece though, that's not gonna work, it's not gonna help. So do that, and you just take your emery board to it. Just softly go over couple times you take a look at it this went really quick that was really easy um, I'm gonna try to ruin the second one just in case to show you the the worst case scenario so if the worst case scenario you go in a little deep so I'm getting in that nub and I actually oh my nippers went in so if you can see it I don't know if the focus there. Oh yeah, there's definitely a nick in that plastic. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and how I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to give it a little sanding and I'm going to use the, the, the harder edge of this first. And I'm going to give it a nice powdery sanding. Not going to, not going to blow it off or anything like that. It has plenty of white powder on there. It's a lot like Rob Ford. Um, and then I'm just going to, I know, right? I'm sorry, Canada. And I'm going to go over that. I'm actually going to go over some of the damage I did on the front side, too. And I'm going to go over kind of heavily, heavily, going to give it a nice firm brushing. And what that's going to do is um, th this, this uh, cement is actually going to fuse the plastics. And since we left all of that um, residue from the emery board, that's actually going to fuse. It's going to fill in that nick. Um, and the model, the model cement actually takes about a minute to do. Um, so I'm going to take another piece off of that runner. It also smells terrible. It also smells terrible. You got to do this with the windows open. Um, okay. Yeah, gate nubs, particularly for modern kits, gate nubs are not really a big thing. Um, but, but if you're doing like MG kits and you want a lot of really, really good detail on them, you'll want to do that anyway. But if you're doing an MG kit and you want a lot of detail, you're going to want to sand a lot of it with, even if you're not considering the nubs, um, just to give it the finish that you want to give it. But 
Yeah. Usually you just use the nippers. Um, that's actually a pretty raw one. Uh, bad example. That one right there. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's no nub there. No nothing discernible. You'd have to be looking with a microscope to see that. Okay. So we've had this for about a minute, and it's pretty much dry. Um, this is not going to be perfect, but that's kind of the point. Okay. So I'm going to go over that nub, that raw edge that I made just a few times. And I'm going to actually go over the front plate of that piece that I intentionally fooled with that I scratched across. Okay. I'm going to go a little deeper this time because uh, that wasn't quite enough. I did nick pretty heavily in there with that hobby knife. This is something that you'll do if you're um, using the hobby knife. Um, sometimes you will screw it up if you're not using a cutting mat. Um, and you could either do it responsibly with a cutting mat or you can learn how to fix it like that. So, well, focus is kind of bad, but there's that nub. The edge, completely gone. Um, if it wasn't gone completely, if you still had that nick, if you still had that edge, just do the same thing again one more time with that glue. You don't want to do more than like two coats with the model glue because um, you'll start to get like a runny effect or you start to streak the piece. Um, but it'll give you a nice finish with one or two um, runovers. So that right there, that's it. That looks like a polished piece. Um, that is our gate nub removal tutorial. Um, if you like what we do, subscribe, like, comment, and if you have any requests for other tutorials or if you want to see any specific kits reviewed um, or assessed, just let me know in the comments. Have a great evening.